Hello agents, I'm Brian Collins, realtor and real estate trainer with Keller Williams, Victor Valley, serving the Southern California high desert and inland empire regions. For this first COVID-19 series, I want to talk to you about why your database is so important. And it should be obvious, but I assure you everyone needs to hear this. During these weird times brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, it's more essential than ever to shift your mindset. Um, I watched a video today and the host talked about focusing on the things you get to do, not just what you don't get to do. When things go back to normal, whatever that may be, um, we'll probably look back at this time and be grateful for it. So if you can look back and you know you did all you did to increase your business and to be present with your family, then you too will be grateful. So in that light, you need to update your database. What is a database, you might ask? It's any means of keeping your contacts at hand. For me, it's my phone. I do also use the KW command system to manage those contacts, but my first point of data entry is my phone's contact app. Uh, I keep notes in my contacts and I use PySync, it's an app, to um, keep my phone contacts uploaded to my KW command system. But if you're not with KW, then maybe you use Lion Desk or Top Producer, really any CRM system, whether it's paid for or not. During this time, the market will be shifting. You may have noticed. This market is not a bad market, it's just a different market. So the general uninformed public will think that this is like the 2006-2008 crash and they'll feel panicked by it. You need to educate people. That crash was because the homes were almost all underwater, the financial system was all out of whack, and that, that place of financial chaos was the culprit. This is a medical reason. Most people have equity right now. There's very few REOs and, and very few short sales for that matter. So when this ends, and it will, the market will rebound and probably be even stronger with the interest rates as low as they will be. The people who can help you the most during this time are going to be in your sphere or your sphere of influence, your sphere. They're also known as your family and your friends and your past clients. You want to be sure to do and have these three things. So number one, have their updated and relevant information. You probably have their names handy, but do you have a phone number and an email address? I bet you have at least one, but maybe not both. Do you know what their birthday is, what their anniversary is? And their anniversary, that could be either their wedding anniversary or maybe even their move-in date for their home, um, if they're your past clients. So you want to find this information out. And not to be too creepy, but social media has a lot of this available for you to find. Or you can, number two, you want to stay top of mind. So you can use what you have to reach out to them and talk to them. This is a great time just to call your sphere. No scripts, be genuine. Be genuine and from the heart. How are you? How's your family? What could I do for you? And it's okay to let them know that you're calling everyone in your contacts right now to check on them as part of your business plan. It's fine. It's also going to be a great way, great and possibly a natural way for them to be reminded that you're in real estate and that, that can spark up a conversation that can lead you to educating them on the current market. They're almost always going to ask you how it's going. Or better yet, they might become a buyer or a seller. You want to make sure that your answer matches the market. We are still essential. Um, here's what's happened in the last 24 hours. So uh, I put out a daily market update that shows every single day in the last 24 hours that there are new listings, new contracts accepted, and new homeowners. I don't really say new closings because I feel like that sounds a little bit too impersonal. But I do this to educate people. And I do this because I saw an article on Fox 11 um, that's in Los Angeles. They talked about the real estate market and how sellers are pulling their homes from the market and how they, and then they, and they use a TV personality that makes his money from buying homes at discount prices and flipping them at higher prices. He's a famous TV flipper. So of course this guy is going to encourage people to be fearful of the market. He's going to be set to make a lot of money when everybody panics. It's really shameful, but this is the kind of information that your sphere is seeing on a daily basis. This is your time to be the expert, to be the educator, and to be the source of information that your friends and family and past clients can rely on. And this brings up number three. So you should make an offer of your services whether indirectly or directly. So indirectly would be like this. Since real estate is an essential service, the market is still moving. Here's the 24 hour stats. So I'm still here working as safely as possible. And even though I've had to shift and change the way that I do some things, I'm still here. Or you can even say directly, since real estate is an essential service and the market is still moving, here are the, the last 24 hour stats. So if you know anyone who can use my services, I'm still here working as safely as possible. And even though I've had to shift and change the way that I do some things, I'm here still. So when you have a genuine conversation with your friends and family, they'll remember that they know you, that they like you, and they love you. 
Not that they forgot, but you're bringing all of those feels to the surface when you talk to them. And hopefully it'll last until the next time you talk. You know, they, when someone in their sphere talks about real estate, they'll remember how educational you were and how much they care for you and your well-being. And then they'll refer that person to you. You can always ask if they know anyone who's in need of the services that you provide. And that's being helpful. And everyone can use a little help right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the next video I'm going to talk about um, listing walkthroughs and how you can do them safely and legally for this COVID-19 series. Thanks so much. I hope you guys all have a fantastic week. Bye-bye.